After years of construction, the gas interconnector Greece Bulgaria or ICGB as it's more commonly known is now operational. The pipeline allows gas to flow from Greece to Bulgaria and beyond, offering the Balkans an alternative to Russian gas. Speaking at the inauguration ceremony in the Bulgarian capital of Sofia, European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen welcomed the development. This pipeline is a game changer. It's a game changer for Bulgaria and for Europe's energy security. And it means freedom. It means freedom from dependency on Russian gas. Funded by Greece, Bulgaria and the European Union, the ICGB pipeline runs between the northern eastern Greek city of Komotini to Stara Zagora in central Bulgaria, providing around 10,000 cubic meters of gas a day. The pipeline connects with the existing Trans-Adriatic pipeline, allowing gas to be transported from Azerbaijan. Meanwhile, the ICGB will also carry gas from planned LNG terminals which, when completed next year, will increase the flow of gas to 4.5 billion cubic meters annually. Von der Leyen took the opportunity to comment on soaring energy prices. So the task ahead of us is very clear. We will do more to contain the skyrocketing energy prices which are weakening our economy and we have to do it as Europeans, together and jointly. The president of the commission, Ursula von der Leyen, might have touched on how high the energy prices are and that something needs to be done. But last week, she refused a request by 15 European countries to put a cap on wholesale gas prices, a decision that the Greek prime minister, Kyriakos Mitsotakis, made clear that his government is not happy with. It's so important, uh, dear Ursula, what we did with COVID, we need to replicate. Uh, with gas, we need a unified European strategy. We need to avoid the fragmentation uh, of the European energy market. And we need to be certain that we place European solidarity above national interests. Although the new pipeline is expected to meet all of Bulgaria's energy requirements and help fill the needs of other countries in the Balkans, doubts remain about the ultimate cost. Evangelos Sipsas for CGTN, Sofia, Bulgaria.